this quick little video um, about how I am going to prick out my autumn sown hardy annual seeds. So um, this is what you would do with each and every one of the hardy annual seeds that you get in our flower kits. So these happen to be cornflowers. Okay, so I can see that they're definitely got their first two true leaves. Um, these guys are right ready to move out of here. Um, they're potentially even a little bit uh, big. So I'm going to do these ones today if I've got time. And these are my corn cockles here, these bigger ones here. So you see these, uh, I'll show you ones that are a bit too small at the moment. So these ones, here they are. That's my Dorcas Carotta. They're a bit small at the moment. I need to wait until they've got another set of leaves on those before I prick them out. But these ones are the ones I'm going to do today. So I have got my labels labelled up, ready to go um, for what I'm going to be uh, potting on this time. I have got uh, my compost, feet free compost. This is great stuff, um, recommended by the RHS. I've got my pots, which I'm going to move these into. And I have got, I realise this, I can't believe it's taken me so long. I don't have a big like potting tray or a potting desk or anything. And um, I was end up with compost all over the floor, all over the table. And so I've realised that actually you could just do it in a wheelbarrow. So I'm going to get handfuls of my compost. I'm going to sieve it through here to get rid of the big lumps. I just bought this today. I haven't done this before. I always normally use my fingers. Uh, I'm going to sieve it through here and then I'm going to fill up my pots and um, I'm going to prick them out. Okay, so I've got my, um, just about to see you, pots here, all full. Give them a little shake to make sure that they're, they're all nice and uh, secure. This isn't normally how I would do it. This is just for the camera. I would do this on a solid surface. So what we're going to do, take one of our pots, we're going to make a little hole like this. I just use a kebab stick. I make do with what you've got, I say. And then what I'm going to do is I just go to my uh, cornflower and holding a leaf, not the stem, I just prick it out like this. See, it's got some root on there. And then what I do is where I've made my hole, you can see this, I'm popping it into the hole push it down a little bit if you want to so that that bottom so that the leaves that where the leaves meet the stalk is at the bottom of the soil on the soil there because it just makes it a bit more sturdy and then I'm really going to firm it in like this that's it then name label in done and now what I'll do is I'll water these when they're all done and then these ones are going to go out into I'm going to go in my cold frame actually because I've got room in there at the moment and um, I want to toughen these up so that they really concentrate on building their roots, not this bit above the ground, but I want them to build their roots up before I put them into the ground uh, before the first frosts come. So hopefully that's helpful to you. I'm going to go through and do this whole tray um, and possibly these ones as well, but every time you do pricking out it's always done the same way. what a cold frame is so I just wanted to show you uh, what I use so my husband knocked these together for me out of some pallets that he chopped up and some plastic film that he bought I do need to staple it's got a bit wrecked in the wind so I'll probably put a new sheet of plastic on this oh yeah look it's a bit knackered I'll have to fix that um, I put some cardboard down inside to make sure that all the weeds don't grow up through I will weed that clear it out I haven't used this since last year and this is my cold frame. So I have two of those and then I also have my un unheated plastic greenhouse um, and little plastic greenhouse shelves which I'll also use over the winter. So if you're sowing your hardy annuals and you have got them ready to go and they are good sized little seedlings 
before your first frost come, at least a couple of weeks before your first frost date, Google it to find your first frost date. Um, those, those seedlings can go into the ground if you've got beds ready for them. So they can go straight out. But if you are sowing later than that, so say you start sowing, I don't know, middle of September, um, October, November, December, January, um, and you don't want to put your plants out into the garden because you can see the ground's just frozen solid, um, you can overwinter them under cover. Now all that means is in a green, in a cold frame like I've got, or in a greenhouse, a uh, covered plastic greenhouse, like I shared with you before, um, or I saw Ben from Higgledy Garden share um, a post about just using those white plastic crates that you get from storage companies, drill some holes in the bottom of those, um, you can pop all your plants into those, you can pop the lids on, move them inside if it gets too cold, move them outside when the sun shines. Um, flexible greenhouses so there's there's no reason to think that you can't grow undercover like because you don't have a traditional glass greenhouse in your garden so the plastic ones that i recommend on my blog um really really cheap as chips uh the plastic boxes um actually if you're gonna if you're gonna have three or four different varieties of seeds that probably even works out more expensive than buying a plastic greenhouse um so hopefully most of you've got enough outside space to be able to have little plastic greenhouse so don't worry if your plants uh, your seeds aren't being sowed in time to get them out into the garden uh, you can try putting some out anyway right as long as the ground isn't frozen solid you can try putting some of them out into the garden and just hold some back inside um, and see how they get on like we just don't know the weather's so unpredictable we could have a really warm winter we could have 10 foot of snow and anything in between so um, that way we've got all our bases covered right if you've got some inside some outside that's what i'll be doing with mine i'll be direct sowing some i'll be sowing some inside i'll be keeping some inside i'll be putting some in the garden it's all experimenting to see uh, what works for you what works in your garden what works with your climate what works with your seeds what works with your preferences what works with your space there's no one answer for all of you right this is especially if this is your first year doing it experiment if it's not your first year doing it share your experience with other people in the group for who's who's who this is their first um experience of doing this i'd love i'd love to hear from all of you so as we all grow and learn together we will oh my god we're going to lose so many seedlings this winter but um we're going to win some we're going to lose some we're going to win some and we're going to learn a whole heap and every year we do this we're going to get better at it and uh and we're all going to do that together how cool is that so do post all the pictures of your little seedlings. I love seeing those. Um, any of your questions, of course, post them here in this group. Um, if I don't know the answers, I'll try my best to find out. And um, yeah, just it's, what I love is that there's always something to do every single month um, in the garden with this continual sowing of seeds that we're doing. Um, so there's never an excuse to be bored. All right, cheers guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video.